Good morning, Lenny the Woodworker. Um, in this video, um, I'm just going to get you up to par to where you should be um, and just go over a few things uh, in the boat building process. Hopefully you're following my videos um, step by step. My goal in making these videos, and there's a lot of them, is to, to walk you step by step through uh, how to build it as opposed to having like one long video of you watching me do it. And, um, you know, educate you on how to do it and what to look out for. So, the last couple videos, um, I went over how to, how to fiberglass the outside, epoxy it, um, and, and get the outside uh, finished. After the epoxy, you're done with the outside of the boat for now. We'll get back to it once the boat's finished. I'll show you how to wet sand it, um, put your varnish on, make it really look like glass. Um, so, the outside's done for now. Now you got to flip the boat over. Uh, you should just unscrew all your stations um, and get a helper with this one. Uh, so unscrew all your stations, uh, get somebody on each end, flip the boat over. Some of the stations are just going to fall out. Other ones, when you flip it over, you're just going to have to knock it out. They're a little stuck, um, but they should come right out. Um, and then here's what you deal with. Don't get frustrated. You just spent hours upon hours getting the outside look beautiful. Um, and then when you flip it over, it's like you're starting from scratch. you you got to get the inside to look like the outside. So look what we have here. This isn't supposed to be here yet, but see, it's all rough. Uh, we have some glue coming through. Um, this tape stuck to it. Um, it looks pretty rough. So what do you have to do? Sand, sand, and sand. Um, the easiest I find, you'll see some glue came through. No problem. I mean, I try to wipe it, but as you get over, you can't get in there and wipe it. So I start with a scraper. And I'll scrape any of the excess glue that came through. I'll scrape all that off first, clean that all up. Then you start sanding. The inside is a lot harder to sand than the outside. The inside is a lot harder to fiberglass than the outside. Um, so you're going to do whatever works for you. I'll use an orbital sander, a detail sander little thing to try to get in there and then um, some of the areas you're just gonna have to do by hand um, and I go uh, aggressive with it I start with a 40 grit then a 60 then an 80 just like the outside um, uh, you gotta get it nice and smooth ready for fiberglass in a future video I'll show you how to lay the, the glass in there um, it's pretty pretty easy, you know, in the middle of the, the boat, but when you get to the ends, it's a little difficult. I'm going to show you some tricks, uh, how you should cut it, a little, uh, you know, tools I use to get in there with the fiberglass. So self-explanatory, start sanding. But I'm going to throw in there in this video also, um, if you're not sanding straight or you want to do some other things, to, you know, keep the boat process going, um, there's other things to do. One is build your yoke. Uh, you can build this, get this ready to mount, because once you've done the inside, we're going to start with the gunnels, and you can pre-get this ready to go. Your plants uh, could have a uh, template in there, otherwise you could design your own, but that's the basic yoke, you know, for carrying it. It's going to go over your shoulder there. Um, you know, so route of the edges, get it nice and smooth, sand it down, put uh, three to four coats of marine varnish on this, and, and get this complete make this longer we'll fit it in later see how it's longer I think next thing is you're gonna you could start working on your seats here's a seat I took this this was already fit you can see the holes and everything because um, you can take the seats out and stuff um, from one of my other boats I like to cane them caning is hard it takes about 10 hours it's not hard very time consuming it takes about 10 hours uh, but I do like the way it looks you don't have to cane the whole thing. You could actually buy a weave already done, and it comes with a binder, so you could bind it into your frame. So if you like the look but don't want to cane, um, do all the caning yourself, you could actually buy this already matted. Um, but I do like to cane it myself. A future video, uh, I will show you how to cane your canoe seats. Uh, another, you don't have to cane it. Another way, people use this fabric. Self-explanatory, pretty quick. You have your canoe uh, seat frame. This is for this boat. And you could actually just, you know, wrap this around and you weave this. Pretty simple. Staple it underneath. Um, 
maybe uh, have like a strip of wood underneath to hide where you staple it, things like that. The canoe seats, definitely hardwood. It's a seat. Um, I like to angle it to the boat. Um, and keep in mind, the back seat and the front seat is going to be different. So when you measure it, um, you roughly know where the back seat is going to sit back farther and the, the front seat is going to sit into the boat a little farther. On both, you're going to make these ears, I'll call them, longer. We're going to fit them in later. I'll show you how to do that with some uh, pin sticks and stuff when we get to it. Um, different ways of putting them together. But I, I don't know if I said, but you can make these square, you can angle them, you can do whatever you want. Um, when you put these two together, <clears throat> you could do several ways. You could do a mortise and tenon joinery to, to slide them in, glue it, uh, even pin it uh, with a dowel through there. Um, I actually put them together with dowels. Uh, I use two dowels on each one and glue it up and they're very strong. Like I said, I've never had one break. Um, if you're going to cane it, um, and I'll teach you how to cane in a future video, uh, you know, because the, the whole patterns are different depending on, you know, what caning you use. But you're going to build your seats, route all the edges, draw all your holes, and then finish, uh, put your finish on three to four coats of your marine varnish. Get the frames completely done, ready to go before you cane it because you won't be able to do it later. Um, and that should get you up to par. So hopefully you're following these videos, you're up to this point, ready to start sanding um, the inside. Uh, you could take a break from sanding, build these other things. Um, and uh, ho hopefully I'm, I'm walking you through this pretty good. So listen, I wanna thank everybody for watching. Uh, hopefully I'm not leaving anything out. Uh, please subscribe, because when this boat's done, I am gonna start building other projects. I have a lot of projects in the work works that I'm going to be doing. Uh, this happens to be a very long series of videos to build a boat. But I do want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, this should be sanded and, and it will be starting to fiberglass the inside. Really coming together now. So um, thank you for watching.